In this nugget, we're going to learn about convection. Convection is how heat is transferred in fluids, liquids or gases. Thermal expansion. Let's look at what happens when we heat something up. If we heat up a balloon, it will expand. The balloon will get bigger. But why does this happen? If we look at the air molecules inside the balloon, they're moving around. They're vibrating. If we heat them up, they'll move around more quickly or vibrate more vigorously. This means that they'll take up more space, so they'll spread out. The molecules move apart, which makes the gas expand. Remember, the molecules themselves are not getting fatter. They're not expanding, they're spreading out. The molecules move apart, making the gas expand, and that makes the balloon expand. Density. If you push a lilo down in a swimming pool and let it go, it will float back up to the top. This is because it is less dense than the water. Density is how much matter is in a given volume. Air in the lilo is less dense than the water in the sea because the particles are more spread out. This makes the lilo float on the water. Let's put all those ideas together now and look at convection. Let's use a lava lamp as our example. Lava lamps are lights which have a glass tube full of water above a light bulb and in the water is some wax. When the light bulb switches on, the wax heats up. This makes the wax expand. The wax is now less dense than the water around it, so it rises up through the water. At the top, the wax cools and contracts, it shrinks. This makes it more dense, so it sinks down to the bottom to be heated again, in a convection current. So we heat, expand, it becomes less dense, it rises up, it contracts and cools, becomes more dense and sinks, and so the convection current goes round and round and round. Another good example of convection currents is an experiment with potassium permanganate dye. Your teacher will fill a tube with water and light a Bunsen burner under one column. The Bunsen burner heats the water, and this makes the water expand. The hot water in the bottom left-hand corner is now less dense than the water above it, so it rises up through. At the top, cooler, more dense water is sucked down to take its place, and a convection current will form in the tube. This is difficult to see, so we add potassium permanganate dye and watch how it moves around the tube. As you can see, it's sucked down from the top and around like that, so the hot water rises on the left and the cold water sinks on the right. Let's look at some examples in everyday life. A radiator uses convection to heat a room. The radiator heats the air above it, and this makes the air expand, become less dense, and rise. The cooler, more dense air on the other side of the room is sucked around in a convection current to be heated. So eventually, all the air in the room cycles round and all the air is heated. Wind is caused by convection currents in the air. During the day, the sun heats the land and the sea, but the land heats up more quickly. If you go swimming in the sea, you'll notice that you feel much colder than being on the beach. The land heats up the air above it, which becomes less dense and rises up, and the cooler air over the sea is sucked towards the land in a convection current. This causes an onshore breeze. However, at night, the land cools down much more quickly than the sea, so the sea is warmer than the land, and the sea heats the air above it. It becomes less dense, and rises, and the cooler, denser air is sucked around in a convection current out to sea, which causes an offshore breeze. Preventing heat loss by convection. To prevent heat loss by convection, we need to stop convection currents forming. This can be done by having no fluids, such as using solids or a vacuum for insulation. For example, double glazing has a vacuum, or very low density gas, between two panes of glass. Convection currents can't form in that gap, so no heat can be lost via convection. Or we can trap the fluids and stop them from moving around in convection currents. For example, foam in loft insulation traps air in its holes, so convection currents can't form. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. 
Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Centuries content and visit our website to find out about our learning platform.